as, as, as you know, we are the regional network of repositories. So for us, uh, the repositories are the base of all, sorry, of, I need this to work. Chopun, don't forget. Sorry, I did that. I pointed too far. <laughs> okay. Could you just so we are a regional network, and for us, the repositories is talking. I need to talk for. <laughs> The repositories we uh, we have all these these countries and, and Spain is also included and we have this structure of national networks but our base is uh, are the repositories so for us the modernizing of the repositories is uh, one of the most important missions that we can that we need to 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 improve so so why the repositories are important for Latin America because we need uh, a, a really strong open science ecosystem and the repositories are, are in that context our literature and now the data repositories are essential uh, and for us as are the right place to, to store a digital object these days we are, have discussions about the CRIS systems and but and and the importance of the CRIS and the CV systems but we need to 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 have those systems and link the resources in the in the in the in our repository system and for do that we need to improve our technological uh like we are we or already discussed it with with notify and for all of that new technologies we need to have a good and updated uh network so we need uh also our repositories in some countries are very important to to enforce the open access and open science laws that that we have and the mandates uh, and, and to do that, again, we need good and new technologies to inter interoperate with other systems uh, and, and, and then fulfill the, the law. So we are already uh, re even discussing the new uh, research assessment policies. And we see that we want that, the repo uh, we, in our opinion, the repositories should be in the center of the scene this discussion. And also for do that, we need to have good and modern and a modern repository network so we did the last year in the ending of, of, of the last year and, and and the beginning of this year we did an open survey about our repository software focus it especially in the space version but because uh, you will see that it's the most common software in in our region and we did an open survey to all the repositories in the region, even the, those for those countries that are not part of the reference. The server was open like three months even because we noted that uh, at the first few, uh, so only few answers, but later we received uh, 386 full answer and around the same amount of incomplete answers. And uh, that's the first, one of the first findings of this exercise, because we we did a high level technical, no, not no low level technical survey about the repository software, the level of modernization, the the, um, the level of the human resources involved in maintaining the the, the, the repositories and the and the wishes of the repositories to improve and update the software and the restriction that they are having in, in that in that way. So we think we need to, to dive into, into the incomplete answers and, and, and contact them to see uh, because they didn't answer. But we think that the most of the time the people on, in the front and in charge of the repositories, they don't have that answers because they don't have technical details or they don't know even the technical details about, about, about about the software. So this is the first result. So I will present the, 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 the results, some of the results of the full answers. 
but the, 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 we need we need to to I, I need to say that there's a there, there is a bias there because the ones who answer the, the survey are the most yes the most uh, complete and resourceful repositories. So eighty eight percent of the space and sixty six percent of the this space repositories wants to upgrade during the next year. Uh, so here is the we have the the, the some some of the of the countries that responded like one or two repositories. So the, the but in the in the top we 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 see that most of the countries use 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 this space and some of other countries use other repository software mainly eprints or self uh, or mm, or custom solutions for repositories this one is about the this space version most or 60 60 percent and in the version six we have a, a starting we have a some some repositories that are starting to install this space seven and we have still have a 40 44 a 24 percentage of of this space four so we also i i am going no i'm not going in deep of the of the of, of this because it would take too much time but we ask it them how they modify or, uh, or the, the software or 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 custom or the customization of the software and which technologies that are using. So you, you you can see that there 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 are some uh, modifications in and high level and uh, and a little uh, percentage of modification about the application source code. And this is a critical aspect for us for the adapt dates because if they modify the software too much, or even they, if they put too much resources in the in the even in the UI, then uh, it's, it's it's hard for them to upgrade because when the version change and especially in the version seven, they need to invest a lot again of resources into migrate the look and feel. And the, and the customizations to the new, to new technologies because the UI and the space, for example, new technology. So they need to just get rid of everything that they they are using and build that that again. And that's a critical aspect of this. That's because we we ask it this kind of questions, and also oh, sorry, we ask it also about the. The level of the of the uh, technical expertise of their their staff, and it's critical also because most of the repositories, even the, this this group that is, we we the thing that is the 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 more ex expertise group of repositories, they have good or high level uh, competence in in management or administration this space. But still, it's a percentage that even they don't have expertise in that declared not to have staff with expertise in in management or or administration. And uh, even in the space installation is a little bit about about fifty percent. So this is a critical aspect also because they don't have the resources in 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 house for do this. So they need to hire external consultants or companies to do that and you need money to do that and I, I didn't mention that it's clear for us that for Latin America is very unequal in that in that sense because we have good repositories of big institutions but we have a lot of low uh, small institutions with uh, no, no no resources for improve that. So we ask it about this space seven and even in this group, uh, most of them, 53, uh, they were uh, about the launching because it, 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 this, 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 this question was about the, 
the launching of the of the um, production version of, of the display center last year. And the ones, do, do you plan to upgrade or migrate the repository server to any version next year? And they, 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 they want to move, to move on. <laughs> But not all will move to this space seven. It, it, but even it, it was surprising for me because I, I expected less percentage of, of, of repositories wanting to move to, to this space seven, but still some people are I, I they they want to 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 move first to this space six. So we are do what we are doing to in, in this in this regard with when I saw the the outcomes of the of the of, and your of the survey yesterday, we from a referencia we are working from the very beginning in the quality of the metadata, in the interoperability, uh, and I don't remember the others, but the, the other but but uh, we are working in some aspect. We were working in some aspect, for, but but for us it's complex to work and support the repositories at that technical level that we need to upgrade and improve. It's, it's hard for us because we don't have resources to pay companies or consultants. Of, so we are looking for, for, for ways to do that. Our, one of our countries that is Spain launched the, the last year and at the end of the last year launched the funding instrument to support repositories modernization during, during this year. And uh, uh, we, I, 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 I was involved in that process helping and uh, uh, the great majority of the repository wants to use that funds for moving to a newer, ver newer version, upgrading uh, the software. So that, that's a good news. But not 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 all the countries have the, the possibility to 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 support that kind of, of funding. So we are working with, with La Referen uh, with La Referencia Core, and this space we are planning to to to. To do a series of activities and uh, to to support uh, and help our communities uh, to to move to better version, and we are looking for funding <laughs> also and and, and 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 to support these regional make regional translations and resources in our language in order to to help the community to move because the language it's a barrier for us also because. Part of the technician they don't they don't understand well the the documentation in English or they, or, or they can't interact with the with the main uh, IT uh, and the developers uh, groups in in, um, in 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 English so so for us is 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 a key aspect to make translation and have resources in our language and also work with in the specific strategies with. With each country, because because each country is different, and we need to to make the the things different in in, in each case. And well, with with more resources, also a, a possible infra um, a strategy that is hard to think in this in this scenario. But maybe for some countries, could be a possibility is to build a this space as service. Uh, Build a, this, a, 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 a common infrastructure and this space as a service a service <laughs> uh, to, to the repositories and, and, and centralize so all the, the version. Uh, we, we, we see the experience of, of Portugal in that sense, and it's, 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 it, that is great for upgrading and maintaining the, 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 the all the report, the, the network working, but it's hard to, hard to fund at the beginning. but even if you have get the funds, the, the, the challenge is to maintain that over time and keep uh, keep that running uh, with, with with resources. So it's, it can be a possibility for some countries, but we need to ensure also the sustainability of that solution. So I think that it, it, this is all for my part. I don't know if you have question later or or. Do you want my microphone? Uh, there's a uh, 
comment on the chat box. Uh, Paulo Lopes says end of life dates for both this phase five and six will be on January, January 1st on 2023. Sad to hear that, <laughs> but we will deal with that, those versions for many years in Latin America. We, we need to improve that, but first. Robin was first and then I'll go. I'm just uh, wondering if maybe a first step is is to get some volunteers to translate all of the DSpace documentation if that hasn't been done. Um, because I know there's a DCAT group of people who help with the documentation. So maybe we need some more Spanish speaking members on that, the DCAT group. Irina and then Irina. Yeah, I'll do this quickly because it's about the CAT group. Uh, so it's a volunteer effort, uh, and we are creating uh, a user facing documentation for DSpace 7, meaning repository managers, how repository managers could use DSpace 7. And now, if you go to DSpace 7 documentation, there is a new section which is called Learning DSpace 7. And that's where we started adding some uh, modules. And honestly, we are done with maybe um, like 10 to 20 support materials that, that are available. So my question is if someone else is creating this space seven documentation um, in your language, uh, if, if you could let us know and uh, maybe we could translate from, from your language into English. And also if you want to help us to create documentation in English, that would be wonderful because it's basically Robin's colleague and uh, our colleagues from India who are creating that documentation. And it's just, it would be good to have more resources. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And could you share um, general ideas in which way um, would you like to uh, develop your assessment system. How in so it clear? Yes. Channel ideas. No. Oh, well, first about uh, the that initiative, we need to 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 keep in touch because we can help to recruit people to help there and and also interact with literacy and and the, the and, and core to 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 make that. To, to concentrate the efforts and no, no waste and no uh, the efforts in different initiatives and, and try to, to, to focus on, on have a good documentation in, in, in our language. So for, for me, it's, it's a great, great, great initiative. So count, count on us. Uh, regarding assessment, is such a complex thing that I will not talk of this here now because it's not the topic of this discussion, but we are discussing a lot as, as, as I presented in the, in the core session, in the core notify session. We are discussing a lot of first what we are doing now and starting the discussion about what we can do, what we, we need to do in our repository system in order to be uh, a good source for research assessment in the future. So it, it's a long way that we need to, but it's the, the, the Having a good and modern uh, repository network is a, is a key aspect. And I see that Notify also is a key aspect uh, as a tool for connecting and, and interoperate, uh, in an, or interoperate with, with other systems uh, regarding assessment, research assessment. So, of course, of course. Yeah. Mainly is about indicators, but you can do indicators if you, if you don't have good sources, good information sources. That's because we need to work in this sense. Algunos comentarios en español? <laughs> no? <laughs> Andrea Bianca, tiene algo a compartir con tu país, de tu país? 
I, I asked Bianca if she has something to contribute from Brazil. I will. <laughs> Sorry. I will talk in Spanish. Okay. Uh, bueno, en Brasil tenemos, estamos trabajando en la iniciativa de la OGP, Open Government Partnership. And, uh, and no, y <laughs> it's, uh, it's uh, confusion, language confusion, uh, sorry. Eh, y eh, estamos todos los, las instituciones de Brasil que son las responsables por la evaluación de los investigadores eh, analizando nuevas formas de evaluación eh, teniendo en cuenta las prácticas de la ciencia abierta. Y para nosotros es una gran comunidad, como ya podéis imaginar. Entonces, las discusiones eh, están fluyendo, están uh, ocurriendo de una manera muy uh, interesante, porque ya podéis imaginar que la evaluación, tenemos una evaluación nacional, pero también tenemos evaluaciones en las instituciones de investigación. Entonces hay que tener mucho diálogo y nuestra idea es presentar una propuesta de nuevas formas de evaluación. Era lo que a mí me interesaría mm, compartir con vosotros. So um, in Brazil, um, they're, they're having a big discussion now about new forms of evaluation, especially around open science. And um, there's evaluation that's done at the national level and at the institutional level. And this discussion is a very interesting and positive discussion because um, you think it's going to um, come to fruition in terms of some really interesting developments around changing the evaluation system in, in Brazil. Yes, okay, great. <laughs> Anything else? Okay, um, now I noticed that Robin had her hand up first. Robin, do you still have a comment? Okay, so let's go over to Irina. It's about open government partnerships that Bianca mentioned, because we have the same in Ukraine. We are writing a national open science action plan as part of open government partnership. And I know that there are some other countries doing the same. So maybe for core visibility, we could have something like, I don't know, a short paper outlining uh, examples, how repositories could support this open government partnership, because it's, it's a good, like, it's, it's a big policymakers forum. And it could be a good case for repositories. So if Bianca, you are if you're interested, uh, like for our Ukrainian purposes, it would be helpful and maybe for core as well. That's a great idea. Are, are there other Margarita, Marisa, quieres compartir algo de tu país? ¿Qué está pasando en Argentina? Espera. Bueno, ayer cuando eh, completamos algunas preguntas de, sobre las debilidades, las fortalezas, y etcétera, etcétera, de los repositorios, yo compartí en el mismo sentido de lo que acaba de mencionar Bianca, que en Argentina eh, desde el año pasado se creó lo que es el Consejo Asesor en Ciencia Abierta y Ciudadana, que estamos, está integrado, yo integro ese consejo, eh, por 13 personas que están generando una recomendación general sobre cómo hacer avanzar la ciencia abierta y ciudadana en la Argentina, a la luz, por supuesto, de las recomendaciones de UNESCO y demás. Y en el mismo sentido también que Brasil, uno de los capítulos, bueno, tiene un capítulo de infraestructuras, tiene un capítulo de acceso abierto, tiene un capítulo de distintos materiales, pero uno de los capítulos que tiene es el referido a la evaluación. Eh, 
que también tiene que sufrir, porque uno en definitiva lleva a la conclusión que si no se cambia la evaluación y si no se cambian eh, las políticas de financiamiento, eh, el avance es difícil de la ciencia abierta. Entonces, eh, está en el mismo camino Argentina. La recomendación se termina ahora. Argentina is also having a conversation about how to advance open access in that country and open science, excuse me. And a big part of that conversation is the evaluation system because if you can't change the evaluation system, you really cannot advance open science. So the discussions are ongoing in Argentina as well. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, so let me go over to Robin, who's I guess I'll go down. And I think Robin's going to be the last question because we should move on to our next presentation. Okay. Um, I was just interested that you mentioned uh, some, of the some of the repositories are data repositories. And I'm just curious, are those also these space repositories? Um, because my experience with a data, a research data, DSpace repositories, it, it does require modifications. Um, so are they kind of in the same boat or do you see different issues with the data repository? Okay, as in all, we have different situations depending on the country and depending on, on even on the institutions. We as La Referencia do not recommend to use DSpace as a data repository. This is not our recommendation, but even each country is, of course, this is recommend, it's only a recommendation. Some countries, they are using or not recommended, but using the uh, in this beginning process, uh, they are using this space as as small data, not for, not, for, not, not for heavy data, but for, for small data. They are using this space, but there are uh, and other countries like, for example, Brazil, that they are installing dataverse as a solution for the institutional repositories and from our national node that is the Institute of, of Information of, of, of uh, uh, Scientific Information of Brazil, the BICT, they are installing and also they are sharing the, 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 their experience with the, the other countries and then help and they are helping other countries to, to, to move forward in the installation of institutional repositories using 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 dataverse as 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 as, as software. So we are hoping to that this will grow in the in the in the next years, and we are looking also funds for for even because some countries like Uruguay or uh, or small countries they are interested in creating national repositories for data repositories at, at the beginning as, as a first strategy for for her uh, her uh, research, researchers. So and. They are also interested in the in the dataverse as as a as a software platform. Okay. 